That was a good answer. I bet that gets in. Yeah, that yeah, was great. That was yeah, that was perfect. All right, cool. Uh, it's going to be like 10 minutes of you doing a monologue with me just sitting nodding. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm John Robinson, President and COO at 100 Thieves. Hey, I'm Jacob Toft Anderson, and I'm the VP of Esports at 100 Thieves. Winning the 2021 Esports Award Organization of the Year was one of the biggest awards we've ever won at 100 Thieves. I think it was the culmination of our first four years as a brand, as a business, as an esports organization, the result of a huge staff, our team, our players putting in tireless hours to win a number of championships and then be recognized. So it's, it's something we're incredibly proud of. One of the one of the biggest awards we've ever we've ever won as a company and a brand. And mark the uh, the end of a fantastic year for us, obviously with the league win, um, but getting that recognition ahead of so many other great organizations was, was definitely the, the highlight of the year. We rejoined Call of Duty in 2020 for our fans. We love the Call of Duty community. It is the loudest, most passionate, craziest bunch of, I don't know, fans I think we've ever seen. And we missed it dearly with the one year that we were away from Call of Duty. And we were really excited to come back. And it's, uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be part of such a uh, passionate community. In a lot of ways, Hunter Thieves is built on the DNA and the back of Call of Duty, right? With Matt's background and our first championship wins coming from Call of Duty. So it just, it felt like the most natural step to, to rejoin the, the Call of Duty League. Having one of the most passionate fan bases in esports is such a huge responsibility, first and foremost. Um, not a minute goes by where I don't contemplate, think, worry about everything that we do from a competitive aspect. Um, our fans deserve the best and our fans require the best. Um, so anything less than the best team is, is always not good enough. In our roles with LA Thieves and with 100 Thieves, we're more like caretakers for the brand and for the community, and their expectations are, are very, very high. You know, they expect championships year in and year out, and that's something that we have to deliver against. And if we're not doing that, we know that, we know that we're not doing our job, and we know that the fans are gonna let us, let us know that. Yeah, I think esports fans, but specifically Call of Duty fans and LA Thieves fans are just, you know, we're, we're very lucky to have such a strong and passionate community uh, supporting, you know, the group that, that we put on stage and, and supporting those players every time they go out there and play. Uh, just in, I don't know, the, the most rabid community that, that I've ever seen showing up, cheering for 12 hours a day through all the matches, but then especially when, when their team comes on stage. Even at Champs, talking to the players as well, they felt like it was like having a fifth man in the, in, in the server. So, you know, having that kind of support from, from your fans is everything that you can dream of as an organization. You know, the community and, and our fan base, they're the ones that we win these awards for. You know, they're the ones who vote for us. They're the ones that, that kind of make all the, make all this happen. So to, to deliver the, the world championship for, for our fans, to deliver the eSports Organization of the Year presented by Lexus for our fans, uh, that's ultimately what we were trying to do. The most important recognition is that the fans love what we do. So being awarded with the eSports Award is, you know, the end to, to a spectacular season. You know, 100 Thieves was founded as an apparel brand uh, back in 2017 by Nate Shot. And while competitive esports is something that we've now gotten into and is a huge part of what we do, I think at first there was some skepticism about whether we could transition from being an apparel brand into being a championship esports organization. So we're actually very proud that we've now proven to ourselves and proven to the community and proven to our fans that we that we can win championships. So while we while our roots as an apparel brand are still very, very important and you know representing the community is, is incredibly important for us, uh, winning championships is, is ultimately uh, something we're equally as proud of. Yeah, I think Nateshot and by extension Hunter Thieves have proven that you can be passionate about content, apparel, esports, and you can be equally successful in all of them. In addition to the success that we've had in those three businesses, it's also because of partners like Lexus that have actually helped us raise the bar and have given us the support and the resources that we need to be world-class in all those areas. I mean, from my perspective, more championship wins. 
for my perspective, in addition to more championship wins and amazing content and the best apparel that we've ever made, we're really excited about world-class hardware, amazing energy drinks, and one day in the future, an incredible first-person shooter. Our vision at 100 Thieves is to be the leaders of gaming culture. It's like, this is the community that we come from. This is the community that we love. And so the more we can do things that they're proud of and they're proud to be associated with, whether that's championships or apparel or the content that we make or any, any of the other things that we do, moving gaming culture forward is, is ultimately our goal. And we're really proud to, to represent the gaming community uh, in, in, in everything that we do. We have to keep evolving as well. Like, we can't just sit on our laurels, our competitors will catch up to us. So, evolving everything that we do, all the decisions that we make, the culture that we have, all of those things need to constantly improve. Big thanks to the Esports Awards for having us. Big thank you to Lexus for supporting 100 Thieves and the Esports Awards and... Uh... Esports Awards, see you fudging later. Oh, that's Matt's, that's Matt's line. You just stole Matt's line. See you guys.